That's a tremendous start by the Australian. He's certainly been in fine form in, uh, in recent weeks. He really showed it here a few, a couple of days ago when uh, he had to ride off against Tony Davis to earn a spot in the pursuit. And uh, he was very, very competitive on that occasion. Yeah, he rode the time of 4.31, which is uh, four seconds faster than he's ridden uh, so far in competition. And uh, one would imagine that he's got that up his sleeve. I think he's just uh, been foxing for the last two rounds. Well, he's uh, nearly three seconds up on his opponent at the moment. But the time that we're going to be looking for is the 1K split. Remembering that uh, he rode a 109 yesterday, it was Davidovich with a 110.12 today. Let's see what Dean Woods comes across here. And he's right on target, 110.47. Whereas Davidovich is back to his normal 112, 113, which is uh, both of the boys have just ridden their normal schedules. So must he be aware of that uh, Davidovich uh, finishing powers? He does finish very well, Davidovich, um, but uh, that's not to say that Dean's uh, too slow in the last kilometre either. It's very important for, uh, for Dean to uh, register a fast time here because we're into the last four, and if he rides a slow time, he risks being uh, in the, uh, the first semi against uh, the fastest rider, which I imagine will be Umaris uh, after, after his final ride. Well, Umaris will be up against Beltrami in the final quarterfinal today. Dieter of uh, West Germany up against Peter Clausen of Denmark in the third quarter final. But Dean Woods powering away here. Yeah, he's got about 30 metres on the Polish rider. I don't think Dean will have too much trouble in, uh, in winning this event. It's just a matter of him now really pulling out a good time and ensuring that he gets the easier ride in his uh, semi-final ride to make sure that at least he's on target for a silver medal. Around the back straight at the moment, the split this morning at the 2K mark for Woods was 219.12. For Davidovich, it was 219.12. So they were, virt they were spot on at the, at the 2K mark. But at the moment, uh, Dean Woods under that at 218.46. And as you can see, uh, nearly two-second break on his opponent. Yeah, 218's basically been the uh, schedule that Charlie Walsh seems to have been setting Dean Woods on for all of his rides here. That gets him through to about 435, 436 uh, for, the, uh, for the final distance, which is nowhere near his best time, and I'd be very surprised if uh, Dean doesn't try and lift it a little in the last uh, kilometre. Well, let's see if he does lift the tempo. But the man in picture at the moment is Reza Davidovich of Poland. Davidovich hasn't really got a classic style. You can see uh, he had a bit of trouble there with the, uh, the foam uh, trackside stoppers. And uh, as opposed to Woods, who sits beautifully on his bike, he's got a beautiful flat back. The, uh, the air uh, slips along the helmet, along the back very aerodynamically, and uh, he's a very smooth pedaler. Well, he's got great memories of Los Angeles 1984 because he was a member of the pursuit team that struck the gold medal. He's a sole survivor from that, and we'll see him in action later in the week in the team's pursuit. But he's certainly vying to try and... Uh, erase the memories of 84 when he missed out on a medal just by five one hundredths of a second in this particular event. You've got to remember that Dean Woods was still a junior in Los Angeles and uh, four years down the track he's got a hell of a lot of experience and uh, he's become a pretty hard and competitor there. He's gone through uh, 326 which is the same schedule he's been using for the whole competition so far. I think uh, this will pan out to be about a 435, 436 which puts him uh, three seconds, three or four seconds in front of Colin Sturgis who won the first uh, heat in the last eight and uh, as long as he keeps doing that, he should be riding in the, in the, uh, the final, uh, in the semi-finals, but not against the fastest qualifier, which I imagine will be uh, Umaris of the USSR. Well, he's got a three-second lead at the moment on Davidovich. And the 3K split this morning for Dean Woods was 328.28, which was, in fact, his, uh, his slower 3K split uh, of this uh, tournament so far. Yeah, well, this morning's time was nowhere near as important as this because uh, the ride was, uh, was was to be against Davidovich, whom uh, I'm sure he was aware that he'd be able to beat, as he's proven here. He's four seconds up as he heads towards the last lap, and uh, the time looks like it. Uh, he's come home very fast in his last kilometre. I anticipate that it might even be a little bit uh, below some of the times he's been riding in the last two rounds. Well, let's see what the time will be. In fact, Dean Woods powering it out down the final straight, and he's safely through to the semi-finals of the 4,000 metres pursuit and the time of 435.11 so that's uh, a little more than four seconds uh, quicker than Sturgis. Yeah, that, that's the time. Dean Woods powering there at the velodrome as David Fordham was saying unfortunately not